in any country, in any city, find a bridge. Walk up to a location on the bridge that gives you a clear view of the sky, and use a can of yellow spray paint to write on any part of it. The Holder of Thunder. If you have done anything wrong, you will hear the faint rumble of thunder in the distance, and nothing more. If not, turn around and stare at the sky, and in exactly seven minutes, a brilliant flash of lightning will light up the sky. You will be blinded, but not permanently. Pray that your sight returns, so that you do not fall off your newfound perch. You will be standing on top of an extremely tall bridge, taller than any you have ever seen. You will be above an uninhabited bay, shrouded in the darkness of midnight, impeded only by the faint light of a crescent moon in the sky. As you take this all in, do not move. You will be on the southern suspension tower. You will be on a suspension bridge in the style of the Golden Gate. If you wait and do not leave your high perch, a walkway of a rigid, sail-like material will drift and form in front of you. It will lead to the northern suspension tower. Walk along the path created for you, and do not fall, for far before you hit the water's edge, a sudden and brilliant bolt of lightning will strike you as you fall, depriving you of all senses except for the ability to feel the unrelenting pain assaulting your body from all sides for eternity. Should you happen to reach the other end, you will meet a tall figure dressed in a blue military uniform that you have never seen. His long hair will crackle with static electricity as it blows in the wind, yet it will stay perfectly smooth. His race you cannot determine. His voice gives no clues. There are only three other things you will discern from seeing him. His first, second, and third sword, one each strapped onto his waist at the left and right, and one onto his back. After you have taken his image in, he will notice you and ask kindly, May I help you? Do not be fooled by this demeanor as any other answer will result in him unsheathing the sword from his back, pointing it in the air, and a massive bolt of lightning inflicting pain like no other will land directly on you. If you ask the correct question, which is, What are you? And are you friend or foe? His face, showing a small, kind smile before will now split into a wide grin. He will begin to tell you his origin, his name, his allegiances, and his influence on this earth. After he has finished, he will ask, Is there anything else? Say yes, and then ask, The aid of your blade. If you please, if you can manage saying this in a relatively pleasant manner, without shouting or mumbling, he will laugh heartily, and then undo the clasp that holds the sword on the right side of his waist. He will then bend down on one knee and present the sword to you. Take it, and then ask him to knight you with the sword on his back. He will agree, and will instruct you on what to do. Follow his instructions, and as the sword touches your shoulder, you will lose consciousness. You will wake up, then, with the sword he gave you, in the last safe place you stayed in. You may repeat this process a second time, in which he will give you his sword on his left, and before he knights you, he will say, You may come to talk and listen as many times as you want, but do not ask for this last blade. If you happen to return a third time and ask for the last blade, 
he will draw it and strike you down with a savage look of utter contempt on his face. The blades he gives you are object 270 of 2538. The first gives you a power to rival that of the knife, and the second grants you the power to call down the same lightning that this item's holder uses to strike one enemy per month, totally obliterating your foe. Use the second blade more than once per month, however, and you shall feel the holder's wrath.